Evening lads, it is November the 9th. Man, what a day, what a day. Oh, Facebook is crazy right now. It's just absolutely just, bleh. It's fun though. <laughs> it's fun, but I, I tell you what, some people who I really, I really genuinely love and respect are just acting a fool today. So, Pray for them, pray for your friends who are just going nuts over this. If you've had your head under a rock, you had the United States election, presidential election. The voting and all that has all been settled now. Donald Trump is the next president of the United States. And however you feel about that, whether you're gonna be celebrating that or whether you're gonna be mourning it, one thing that I would urge you to do is not get carried away not lose sight of the main goals. And one of those main goals is getting porn addiction out of your life. That's the whole point of this little series here. No fat, no porn, November. Getting porn addiction out of your life because if you are enslaved to lust, if you are enslaved to this addiction, if you are enslaved to your desires, to your instincts, then there's, I mean, what good is political freedom really? Yeah, it's, it's still good, it's still valuable, but How free can you really say you are if you are enslaved to that kind of nonsense? And so focus on that. And like I said before, a nation is only going to be as great as its people are. So if you want a better nation, start by becoming a better person. And that means being somebody who embodies those virtues and those characteristics that you want your nation to be known for. So if you want a free nation, if you want a strong nation, if you want a disciplined nation, if you want uh, a virtuous nation, you've got to embody all those characteristics in your own life. And chances are, if you're even bothering to watch this video, then you agree that porn addiction is a bad thing. You need to get it out of your life as soon as you possibly can, which is right now. So don't let up today. Don't give yourself any slack. Don't you know, don't, don't decide to just chill for a little bit and relax and just take it easy. No, no, stay focused, okay? Keep your eye on the prize, stay focused on your goal. Keep looking at the finish line, which, I mean, there, there's no real finish line, but stay focused on winning this thing, on being consistent, on never compromising on this, on never satisfying that just depraved curiosities that we have or, or those you know animal urges that we have to just indulge in this kind of behavior no don't do it okay don't try to seek comfort in this if, if you are not on the trump train and you are just dismayed by this election don't try to seek comfort in pornography and those old comforts that you had they're not comforting they're not gonna make you feel better in the long run they're not going to fix anything. They're not going to move you towards your goals. They'll actually move you in the opposite direction. And so whichever situation you find yourself in, whether you find yourself really excited right now or if you are just totally bummed out and upset, focus on you. Focus on your life. Focus on making yourself great again. All right? That is the message for today, which is very similar to the message for yesterday. But you know what? This is kind of what everybody's thinking about in the first place right now is the political situation, the government, the politicians, elected leaders, and what that means for them. But you know what? The main thing that matters is how you live your life. Okay? You've got to make your life great. No politician can take that away from you. No politician can do that for you. All right? It starts with you. So let's do this thing, okay? Stick with it. November the 9th, nine days for a lot of people. Less days for some people. More days for some people. Wherever you're at in that spectrum there, wherever you're at on this journey of reclaiming your life from this nast stick with it stay focused and win because this is a fight worth winning no matter how many times it feels like you lose you know elections are kind of depressing for whoever loses because like ah, oh, now we can't do anything about it for four more years your life 
you get a second chance every second, okay? <clears throat> so, whether you failed or whether you've been going strong for a while here, keep going, all right? Keep fighting this thing, never give up. And if you mess up again, then get back up and keep going. You ain't gotta wait four years or anything. You ain't gotta wait at all. Get up and keep going, all right? You can win this. Unlike in the election, your individual vote does matter in your individual life. So change what you can. Don't worry about the stuff you can't change. Change what you can. And make America great again, starting with yourself, all right? I love you guys. Let's do this thing. Y'all have a lovely day. God bless you guys. Take it easy, but not too easy. You know what I mean. And I will talk to you later. Hmm, I thought I turned it off.